and I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. Grace and PC for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Before I start, there will be a disclaimer. I'm not a pastor, an elder, or a deacon. I'm just a regular individual who loves to read the Bible every day so the people out there get the same encouragement to open up your Bible, read your Bible, study your Bible, and always ask questions of the Bible. So today we're going to go and read the last chapter of Ruth. That is chapter 4. And there's so much blessings after blessings after blessings after blessings. And all throughout that, you know, how they, the Israelites, how they, they conduct business or conduct the, the way that other families conduct and how uh, uh, a, la a land that Naomi had, you know, how they conducted and uh, it comes with the package it comes with the package it comes with his wife you know the 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 widow in the for the land you know if you get the land you have to get the widow you know from the from the family it has to be a, a, a part of the family how how crazy that that they may be but that's how they work it in in israel, uh, israel times uh now i'm going to read beautiful blessings from cha uh, from verse 11 all throughout this chapter so bear with me and i'm gonna put my grandpa glasses on just in case that happens <laughs> okay so we're gonna go chapter 4 verse 11 then all the people who were at the gate and uh, and the elders said we are witnesses may the lord make the woman who is coming into your house like Rachel and Leah who together build up the house of Israel may you act worthily worthily in in Ephra and be reowned in Bethlehem that's another that's blessings after blessings and may your house be like the house of Perez whom Tamar bore to Judah because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by your young woman again blessings after blessings and then we go to chapter 13 so Boaz took Ray, uh, Ruth and became his wife and went to her and the Lord gave her conception and she bore a son there's another blessing there. Then the woman said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a redeemer, and may his name be reowned in Israel. He shall be to you to restorer of life and a nurturer of your old age to your daughter in law who loves you who is more to you than seven sons has given birth to him that's another blessings more blessings more blessings and then then Naomi took the child and laid it on his, her lap and be, and, beca uh, and became his nurse and the woman of the neighborhood gave him a name saying a son has been born to Naomi they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. You see, that's more blessings. That's the bloodline. Now, these day, uh, these are the generations of Perez. Perez fathered Haran. Hezron fathered Ram. Ram fathered Amobadad. Amobadad fathered Anashon. Anashon fathered Simon. Uh, Salmon. Then Solomon fathered Boaz. Boaz Obed fathered Jesse, and Jesse fathered David. So much blessings, blessings, blessings. That's when, it, but that's when, you know, when our. It's it's beautiful that that we are blessed with the Holy Spirit. We are blessed that we have we have a Redeemer like Jesus Christ, 
and who gave us another life to live the righteous way and now to giving all these blessings now it's time for us to bless others so let's just be instruments of God and let us bless others help one another help people you know give them the gospel give them the good news we all need that and I think in the later times I think people will understand this you know if God will grow it God will grow it okay you just spread the seed I'll I'll end it with that and if you have any questions and prayer requests please leave it down below and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us and give us grace mercy and love Amen. Hallelujah. Maranatha. Uh,